base 3 place values. We've been slowly counting down from base 10, and now we're at base 3. And I'm going to show you what base 3 is, but first let's go over this really quick. In base 10, which is the place value system that we use every day, it's based on the number 10. Isn't that appropriate? In this column we have our 1's, then we have our 10's, our 100's, and our 1000's. As we move to the left, we multiply by 10 to get to the next column. 1 times 10 is 10, 10 times 10 is 100, 100 times 10 is 1000, etc. On the right side of the decimal point, we divide by 10. 1 divided by 10 is a tenth, 1 tenth divided by 10 is a hundredth, etc. So, in base 3, we are going to multiply and divide by 3. So, our place value columns are going to be these. Okay? Instead of ones, tens, and hundreds, etc., we're going to have a ones place, a three place, a nines place, 27s, 81s, and 243s. And on the right side of the decimal point, we have thirds, ninths, 27ths, and you would have the next one, 1 over 81, because you would divide the 27 by a third, and you would just keep going that way, okay? So, this is the way it works. If I said I wanted 5 to write the number 5 in base 3, I would have a 3, I'd have 1 3, and I'd have 2 1s. That would give me 5 in base 10. See? A 3 and 2 1s is 5. So it'd be written as a 12. Isn't that odd? So in base 3, 12 would be 5 in base 10. Isn't that something? How would you write 21? Well, you'd have two nines, which is 18. 19, 20, 21. But you'd have to put a zero in the ones place. So 21 would be written as 210. Isn't that odd? 210 is equal to 21 in base 3. What if you wanted to write the number 28? You'd have 127, no 9s, no 3s, and a 1. And that would give you 28. 1001 would be 28 in base 10. See that? That's how base 3 works. You multiply by 3 going to the left, you divide by 3 going to the right. The next video we're going to make is base 2, which is binary, like in binary code with computers. Hope to see you there.